I won't do that, yeah. just if you're stuck. Yeah. Was the night, can I start? No. Okay. It was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, <clears throat> not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the ch chimney with care, and hoped that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutter and I threw up the sash. And the moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. And such, such was to my wondering eyes should appear a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his Kirk coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dancer, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky, so up to the housetop, as course as they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. As I was drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bag of toys he had flung on his back he looked like a peddler just opened, opening his pack. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. He had a, a stump. The stump of a pipe he held tighten his teeth and his yeah. and the smoke and encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little brown belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Mm -hmm. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. He left out something. A wink of his eye. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head. Soon gave me to know he had nothing, I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word and went straight to his work. And he filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. And laying, laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. Away to his He Wait. sprang to his sleigh. What? He sprang to his sleigh. He sprang to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down on a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. There were two parts that you missed, but it wasn't that big of a deal. You missed the how is 
his, his eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses. You jumped right to his droll little mouth. Yeah. And also was the, um, and then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each oh little hoof. Oh, goodness. But that's okay, man. Oh, like, man. <laughs> you got... I can't remember what my mom tells me five minutes ago. <laughs> 